and Du Ho Choi. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a champion. The fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're under in danger the entire time. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Nice punch there. Just out of the range with that right hand. Another punch to the head. He's really turning. Well, he told us on Thursday, nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Close guard. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Another punch position. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this room. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot, and he drives his entire body into that hook. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Nice straight punch. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. So the numbers continue to pile up. 30 total strikes have landed for Misha Serkin. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. has got full mount now. Sound strike on the ground. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits his takedown. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. All right, working out 
of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. One minute to go. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, nice straight punch there by Chor. He's looking to land the right just out of range. 15 seconds. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Choi gets hit with a kick. Battling for hooks. Some nice back and forth action here. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. Next round is underway here, and if you can't stay calm when a fighter is attempting a submission on you, you're gonna get finished. You I mean, stay you're calm. Done. You're done, John. You're done. If you panic, you're gonna present your neck, you're gonna give up an arm. You gotta really stay patient. Yeah, that's my fighter name, John. No panic. Oh my goodness. No, Did actually, you just make that up? It's actually the anaconda. You should be a rapper. You really should rap if you can put stuff together. I'll be ready. Choi's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Nice punch there by Sirkin. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would almost be willing to bet he's going to secure it. I'll take your action. Okay. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of line. Oh, man, as effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. He, Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking a deep for a Oh, my God, he switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. All right, side control now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, looks like he's transitioning on ball. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Attacking on bar. All right, so he postures up. No, he can escape. No, he can escape. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Serkinov's back in format. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, if you're sick of us dropping that word hook, don't shoot the messenger because he throws, and more often than not, he lands just like he did in the previous round, found a home for it again. Here. Found a home for it again, and if I'm him, I'm continuing to go to the well. His opponent has not shown an ability to stop him. Place kick there by Choi. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Switching stances here. Oh, good takedown. Tags him with the left hand. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like he's getting in deep. Pressure being applied here. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip 
pushing for ways to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. 90 seconds to go. Joy's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Effective strike there by Silkin. And they separate. So it lands another punch there, and he smells quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high cross. Oh! Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the broadcast. I mean, right there. Bo -bo 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 -bo. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> Control now. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Sirkunov. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fun. Ten seconds remain in round two. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Two rounds in the books. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Outstanding knee the body there. He's the taller fighter. He might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so then. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any sign. He's got a huge strike right there. Not sure how many more of these his opponent could take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Nice right hand. So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Chor. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Serkunov's got his hand looking for a guillotine. Trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, he's more than content to walk off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Serkunov gets caught with that punch. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Just misses there with the left. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Got the single collar tie. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Big hall of punch lands. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just out of range with that right hook. 
Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. Single collar tie now. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time to pass that his boxing double leg here. Takedown lands. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. He's having his way with him here. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Closed guard. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the back. And he's out. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. 30 seconds left. Let's go. Let's fight hard. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, we're both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. They go the 15 minute distance. What a fight! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint. Tom. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state a flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 9-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Do Ho Chong. All right, so the judges